Demonstrators here remain unmoved tonight after what they called failed negotiations with the university's president and are now calling on more people to come out to support. The encampment at the University of Chicago remains put for a seventh night as a call to action looms. We know that we're the majority on campus and that people uh, just got to show up and, and keep fighting. After meeting today, student demonstrators say negotiations with the university's president are making little progress. There's been certain like agreements, uh, but, but not that have been not conditional on how the negotiations end. Um, I think around Palestinian scholars uh, coming and finding refuge and having jobs and, and housing here in Chicago, um, but, but quite minimal in, in the grand scheme of things. One of those agreements made to decrease the presence of campus police now facing backlash from some Jewish students. The president of U Chicago's Maroons for Israel issuing a statement calling that decision in part, quote, a concerning disregard for student safety and calling on the university to, quote, end the encampment before protesters escalate further. USA! USA! It was on this same campus when counter protesters Friday confronted demonstrators occupying the quad. The university's president at the time said the encampment cannot continue, but how, when, or if U Chicago plans to intervene is still unknown. The efforts seen across the country for universities to disclose its investments. Also reaching DePaul University, where on day six of its encampment, saw a dueling protest with people carrying Israeli flags. The university says two people were treated for minor injuries amid the fray. Somebody has to stand up to this. This is unconscionable. It's intolerable. We are simply peaceful protesting, and you have on the other side, Fully adults, non-students, you know, chanting Islamophobic um, statements at us while we're just simply protesting for a divestment from our university. Now, DePaul University didn't say how those two people hurt were affiliated with the protest. So far at both campuses, no one has been arrested.